Now that Kim Jong-un has wrapped up his visit to China, we're hearing new concern about the fate of a one-time top diplomat who vanished and may have fled the North Korean dictator's brutal regime. Seeing as Brian Todd has been working his sources for us, Brian, what are they telling you? Well, they are saying tonight that this man and probably his wife have likely gone underground, probably still working out where he might get asylum if he's in fact defected. What's surprising tonight is that former North Korean defectors are saying the South Koreans, who have always been receptive to defectors, are now not stepping up to the plate. He's one of Kim Jong-un's top diplomats anywhere in the world, and he's been missing without a trace for two months after disappearing from his post at North Korea's embassy in Rome. South Korean media reports say he's defected. Tonight, prominent North Korean defectors say they're worried about the safety of Jo Song Gil and his wife, and they're pleading with the South Korean government to protect him. We urge the South Korean government to put in the effort for Jo Song Gil so that he can make the journey safely to South Korea if his family wants to. But Tae Young Ho, a top North Korean diplomat in London who defected three years ago, says he does not believe the South Korean government under President Moon Jae in is doing enough to embrace the missing diplomat. Quote, neither the South Korean government or its citizens express their intention to rescue Joe and his family. I'm saddened by the current situation. This comes just a few days after Tae Young Ho wrote an open letter to the missing diplomat, begging him to come to South Korea. What are President Moon Jae-in and his government doing to make South Korea less hospitable for North Korean defectors? There's a suppression of their activities. They are blocking the balloon launches, the efforts that the North Koreans are making to reach out and get information into North Korea. Second thing is they've cut off funding for all the defector-led uh, NGOs that are advocating for human rights in North Korea. They've stopped all those activities. They've cut off all their funding. In addition, Moon Jae-in never talks about human rights in North Korea. Some analysts say the South Korean president is so eager to make peace with Kim Jong-un that he doesn't want to anger the North Korean dictator over high-profile defectors. He would like to see significant improvement in North-South relations. And the reality is a defector, especially a high-ranking one, is a black eye. It's a very awkward thing for the North Koreans to have to handle. There's no significant evidence that the South Koreans have cut back on security for North Korean defectors. But a key question tonight, if this missing diplomat, Jo Song Gil, doesn't surface in Seoul, where could he turn up? I suspect he may end up in a European country, in a Western European country, perhaps in the United States. He will assume uh, a new identity. He will be under protection for an indefinite period of time. We have pressed officials at the State Department on whether the U.S. is going to offer asylum to this missing North Korean diplomat. They have not responded. We have also been pressing South Korean government officials in Seoul and at their embassy here in Washington to respond to the criticism that they are making life more difficult for North Korean defectors. They have not responded to that. Wolf? All right, Brian, good reporting. Thanks very much.